was the way that we kept it going and just like even if there was actually sometimes like when I was working on my album that like there, there'd be like a day that we couldn't talk or whatever but like just the the texting of like knowing I wanting him to know that I'm thinking of him was like how it it goes a it long worked. way yeah. and that's needed in a in a normal that's needed in every relationship but the extraness of it I think of the long distance and not being able to like pull up whenever mm-hmm. um is a factor of it I think you know just works but what advice I guess would you have for people who are figuring out if they want to do long distance or are currently in one right now like what tips do you have to kind of make it work and make it last I would say, again, back to trust, like as much as you can, like if you guys really trust each other, then that means like not micromanaging each other. I think that's really important. Like, um, I think that one thing about like sending texts and things, like I think it, it can mean even more if you like send a check, a text or check in when you're doing something kind of important. Like, like for me, it's like, like backstage, like, Hey babe, I'm about to go on, on stage, like love you. And so it's like in those like big moments, Mm -hmm. um, or like, I'm about to do this podcast. Like (laughs) I'll see you later. Like, it's like, okay. Even when you could have been super distracted by something like you thought to think of me in those Mm. moments. So I think that's like a, a big thing for, or like, yeah. Yeah. I think that's a big help. That's a good point actually. And I, I have not thought about it in that way of, in the entertainment world, you know, especially like when you're a performer, you know, that's, that's your life. You know, it's 24 seven, you're in the studio, you're meeting with people, you're performing, you're getting on stage. And it's like sharing those moments, you know, is, is hit or miss. They're major moments in your career. I was just telling my best friend today, like the fact that, you know, you've been there as part of every major moment in my life, whether you were physically there or not, I feel like you were there for me mm. in one way and either you had like sent me something in the mail or wrote me a sweet paragraph and it's really the little things that go a long way like you don't have to be physically present to be there for someone um and I think like if you can wrap your minds around that and it be a mutual thing of like I'm here for you and I show you that it could possibly work yeah it could possibly work yeah but it has to be that dedication to it yeah yeah, yeah for sure um What time are we at? Okay. The other thing I was going to say about the best friend comment Mm -hmm. that you just made is like, that's something that I feel like in the love relationship to like, like you guys like committing to being best friends. Cause I feel like in your life, when you have that like best friend who, you know, is always there for you. Like you can get through those times of long distance and stuff just because you know, that person like loves you and is championing you and got, and like gets you and, is there for you. And I think like, if you have that best friend relationship with your partner, it also makes the long distance so much easier because you're just like rooting for each other. I think mm-hmm. that's at the core of it. Like, yeah. and you know, like the reason that you're in long distance is probably because you're both like pursuing careers or like, like there's a reason why you can't be in the same city that has something to do with like each other's life paths. Right. And if you're like rooting for that person, then you don't want them to leave that path exactly you know? that's yeah. that's a good um like trait I feel like people don't talk about enough in terms of sometimes when we're with somebody all day every day all the time it can be suffocating for them especially when they already have a lot going on or if they're busy or are really you know career oriented um I think the key is like to kind of learn not to take any of it personally when somebody wants their space or when somebody is really trying to like pursue their passions like you're not going to be able to hang out every day. You're not going to be able to talk every day. There may be times where I won't be able to check in because I am, you know, have a lot going on. But um, I think that's what makes all the difference. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> you know? Um, okay. I will say we, we wouldn't have been able to get married if we, like, like, we, we wouldn't have been able to do long distance the whole time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, for sure. Yeah. No. That was definitely, There has yeah. to be a, a point where you guys eventually come together. Yeah, it would have, yeah, like, it would have been almost weird if we, like, were long distance then. Like, we, we, it's almost like, I feel like for each relationship, like, the timing matters so much. Like, mm-hmm. the timing of when you're both long distance and, like, mm. how long it is, mm-hmm. where you're both at in your lives. Like, there's a lot of, like, 
this like balancing act of like it working out because things are just like lining up in the right way. Yeah, um, that's yeah. a good point. Because if you're not in a place where you can physically manage a long distance relationship, it's still a relationship. There's still just as much work that goes into it, if not more. Um, and it doesn't make it you know easier at all just because you don't have to physically like be with somebody. If anything, you have to do more to go out of your way and show love. But what do you feel like was that turning point for you guys to be like, okay, like we're not long distance anymore. Let's move in or Uh, after college. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, okay, let's take the next step and move in together. And like, how'd you pick what, who's going where? Um, he moved to New York because there was just more business opportunities there and a bunch of his friends were moving there and it, it just like made more sense. And he was excited to move to New York. Um, and honestly, then he, he also moved to LA with me when I um, came out here for music. Um, and I think like, we're actually about to make another move, but I haven't told my team or anyone yet. <laughs> this is happening. Out of LA? Oh. Yeah, so boy, yeah. Maybe like the next couple of years, oh, okay. that's gonna okay. be more of like a move for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I think like the timing of when we, like we were like right at the edge of our like being able to continue to do long distance, I think. And so getting to move in right after that was definitely a transition because I think it was like, whoa, okay, like we were long distance for like four years and now we're like every day like together. Like, okay, let me just wrap my head around that. That's a big transition, right? Yeah, it was surprisingly like, I think for both of us a little bit like shockingly, not hard, but just we had like, we we didn't think we'd have to adjust. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe it's because the times that we were together, like we're so high that like we were transitioning into like, okay, now things can kind of be like here and then up versus just like, woo. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. I love that. I, I love that that worked out for you guys. I know you mm-hmm. have to be really strong in order for you to make a long distance relationship work for four years at that. Yeah. <laughs> was, um, yeah. But I think once you have conquered it, it's like y'all could do anything. It's like we did this, which mm-hmm. was one of the hardest aspects of our lives. So that's inspiring, honestly, to like look towards and – Um, I guess before we go, do you have any like final words of encouragement for people who, you know, maybe dealing with that or um, are like currently in that situation? I would say um, to like really focus on the pros of the situation and like maybe even look at it like this isn't going to be forever. And Mm -hmm. so like I won't get to experience long distance again. And so like what are all the fun things that I get to experience with it like? we wouldn't normally like mail each other presents. Like that's something that isn't going to happen when you live together or um, doing like FaceTime, you know, sexy things. Like you (laughs) might not always do that when you're like sleeping in the same bed. So look at it as this fun opportunity to be creative. And like um, the fact that you get to be long distance versus you have to be, I think is maybe a good like perspective shift or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. Keeping the spark alive and getting creative for sure. Yeah. I love that. Okay, well, is there um, anything in your music that, like, we can look forward to from you this year or in 2023? Yeah, um, I have a new album coming out next year. I'm really excited. And I actually have this song coming out next year that's called Lonely that is actually kind of about long distance. Really? And, like, I, I was just thinking about this as you literally just said that, but it's about, like, being able to love yourself and, like, pleasure yourself when you're in a long distance relationship and like sharing that experience with the, with the other person. Wow. So, um, Is it's a perfect job. Yeah, I know. It's like literally exactly what we're talking about. So, um, so yeah, it's, I'm excited for people to hear that. Cause I think it's like a little different than what I've like revealed before, but I think it's like a fun, um, way to talk about self-love and like Mm -hmm. not being ashamed of like making yourself feel good and sharing it with your partner Mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Okay. cool. So has he heard the track yet? He has. He loves it. He loves it. I think it's like (laughs) the first one that he's like, oh my God, like not like he's like nervous because like the photos are all very like sexy. And like, (laughs) I think he's just kind of like, okay, wow. Like people are going to hear you talking about like the things that you like that like are, but he's also just being like, strong through I finally got him the other day I was like can you just tell me like if because I could tell like he wasn't telling me if there was like a line that he didn't like or whatever would he normally tell you if he didn't yeah but he usually like stays kind of out of that too just to like let me do me in the music space but like if I wanted opinions and stuff he Mm -hmm. would tell me but on this one I think he was trying to like 
he didn't want to be like insecure or something. I don't know. But he, there was like one line that he was like, okay, if you, this, just this one line, if you could change this one line. And I was like, okay, I got you. Like I, we can change. I, I like that you line. take him into consideration at least when it comes to just your music and like what would make him comfortable too. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that was good. Yeah. I can't wait to hear that song. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to send it to you after this. I'll get okay. you like the early I'm, listening. Yeah. See what you think. I'm curious. I need to know. Yeah. Um, but yes, for those who don't, know who grace weber is we hope you guys learned a lot about her today um thank you for coming on and showing love on the podcast we talked about everything from long distance relationships to how to make them work whether or not we would ever be in one um and how to make it successful you know miss grace over here is married mrs grace, mrs. grace. <laughs> she's, she's married over here and they've been going strong since college so mm -hmm. it's been an inspiring conversation i definitely picked up some gems i hope you guys did too and thank you so much for listening this is show some love i'm your girl tally thank you so much grace thanks for having me this was really fun thanks yeah. see you guys next time <laughs>